Okay, so now we're gonna learn how to add and subtract dates in Tableau using the two functions date add and date diff. But as usual, let's understand the concept, then we're gonna practice. Alright, so now we're gonna talk about the function date add. We can use it in order to do mathematical operations on our date field. So for example, we can add three days to our dates or we can subtract for example, two months from our dates. So we can manipulate our dates by adding or subtracting specific intervals from our dates. So now let's see the syntax in Tableau and take some examples in order to understand it. So it starts with the date add as a keyword and it needs three arguments. First, the date part that we are interested to manipulate. The interval is like how many days, how many months you want to add. Then we have the date field itself that we want to change. The output, the result gonna be a date field. So for example, let's say that we want to add three years to our date so we specify at the date part years then the interval gonna be three and then our date so what gonna happen tableau gonna go and add three years to our date field so with that we are adding three years to this piece of information the year and the rest the months and the days gonna stay as it is so let's move on let's say that we want to add three months instead of three years so what we're gonna do we can specify a month at the date part then three as an interval then our date as well so what's gonna happen we're gonna change only this piece of information so instead of having august we're gonna have november so with that we are changing only the month the rest gonna stay as it is and now we're gonna move to the last one to the day we would like to add three days i think you already got it so what's gonna happen we are gonna add three days so we're gonna have the 23 instead of 20 and it's changed only at the day level the rest gonna stay the same so with this you can see we can add different intervals to different date parts in our date field and in our examples we were working with positive numbers but in tableau we can as well use the negative numbers so with that we're gonna subtract the intervals from the date so let's take an example let's say that we want to subtract three years from our date so we're gonna have here the interval as a negative three so minus three and the output we will have instead of the year 2025 we will get 2022 of course the same thing we can do it on the day so we would like to subtract three days from our date so instead of having the day 20 we're gonna have 17 so as you can see we can use the date add in order to add new intervals but as well to subtract intervals it's a very important function in tableau in order to compare things together like we can compare this year with the next year so we're gonna go and add one year to our field and with that we're gonna get two fields the field with the current year and the field with the next year we will see that in next examples so that's it for the date add let's move on to the date diff the date the function in Tableau has a very simple task and that is to subtract two different dates. So for example, let's say that we have two dates, the order date and the shipping date in our data source. So let's say that you ordered something in this date, 2025 in November, and you received your order in the next day in February. So now if I ask you how long it took to ship your products to your house, you're going to subtract those two dates in order to give me the number. And this is exactly what the date diff does in Tableau. So the syntax is going to be looking like this. Date diff if, then we have three informations which date of birth you would like to subtract then we have the starting date in this example the order date and then the end date the shipping date the output gonna be always a number so as usual we're gonna have examples in order to understand it so here we're gonna ask tableau how many years it took to deliver to ship this product so here we are interested in how many years we are interested in the year part then the start date gonna be the order date and the end date gonna be the shipping date if you do that in tableau you're gonna get one so it took one year to ship the product so here we are talking at the year level you will get one now let's go to the next level let's say how many months does it take to do the shipment so here we are specifying at the date part a month we have as well the same informations for the start and the end date and this time you're gonna get three months so the answer is gonna be it took three months to ship the product to the customers all right the next question gonna be how many days it take to ship the product to the customers and this time it's gonna be 68 so now we are talking at the day levels so the result gonna be it took 68 days to ship the product from the order date to the shipping date so in this situation it makes sense to use the date because we always want to understand how many days exactly it took to send the product to the customers because if you have like a year you gonna think it took the whole year to send the shipment so that's it this is how this function works it's very simple and very useful in the visualizations so now let's go back to tableau and start practicing those two functions 
All right, so now let's go and see how we can create that in Tableau. We can stay at the big data source. Let's go to the orders and we can manipulate the order dates. So let's bring it to the view over here and we're going to show the exact date. So we're going to go and switch it to exact date to see all details. And I would like to have it as discrete to see all the values inside our data source. So now it's really simple. Let's say that I would like to add one year to my order date. In order to do that, we're going to go and create a new calculated field. So we're going to call it order dates plus one year. So we're going to use the function date add and it needs three arguments, the date part. So we are adding one year. So the date part going to be a year, the interval going to be one and the date that should be manipulated is the order date. It's very simple. So as you can see that Tableau says the calculation is valid. Let's hit OK and check the results. So as you can see, we got a new field in our data source with the data type date and time. Let's check the results. So we're going to grab it to the view, but I would like to see as well the details. So I would like to see the exact date. And again, we have to switch it to discrete in order to see the results. So let's switch it to discrete. And now, as you can see, we have a date and time. If you want to get rid of the time, we can cast the field to date. So in order to do that, let's go to our data pane. So this is our field. Click on the icon of the data type and switch it from date and time to date. So let's do that. And as you can see, now the time did disappear. And as a result, we see that everything is plus one year. So we have here 2018 and the result 2019. So we can check other dates. If we sort this as descending, we can see that we have the value as 22 and here we have it as 2023. So that's it. This is how we can create a new field with plus one year. Let's add one month. So now let's go and edit our new calculated field. So right click, edit, and let's change as well the name from year to month. And now instead of the date part year, we can have month. So it's very easy to switch and if you select apply so now we can see that we are adding one month to the data so if i sort it again to the old one you can see here we have january and now we have it as february we can do the same if you switch it today if you want to add only one day so let's apply and as a result you can see that we are adding everywhere plus one day so of course we can add to the intervals negative numbers so let's say we would like to have minus one day let's hit apply and check the results so as we can see in the results in the new calculated field it's always one day behind the original field of the order dates so that's it this is how we can work with the date ads it's very simple Alright, so now we're going to go and create a new view to analyze the average days to ship per subcategory. It's very important for inventory management, optimizing operations, allocations of resources and so on. So we're going to create that using the date diff in Tableau. But first, let's bring a lot of data to the view in order to understand how this works. We're going to stay with the big data source. Let's go to the orders and here we need our two dates. The first one going to be the order date. And the second going to be the shipping date. And let's add as well the order ID at the front. Yeah, we can add everything to see the result. And as usual, Tableau show it as a year. We would like to see all the details. That's why we're going to go and convert it to exact date. So for the first one, we're going to do it exact date. It might take a little bit long time because we have a lot of data and we have it now as a continuous. I would like to see all distinct values. So let's convert it to discrete and do the same thing for the shipping date. So we're going to convert it as well to exact dates and then to discrete. So we're going to go and move it to discrete. All right. So now we have all the information that we need. So we have for each order one row. Now we're going to go and create our new calculated field in order to find the differences between the order date and the shipping date. So let's go and do that. So we're going to go and create a new calculated field called days to ship. And we're going to use the function date diff and it needs three arguments. The first one is the date part. Here, of course, since we are saying days to ship, we are interested on the days. How many days it took to place the shipment at the users. So we can enter here day. The start date is going to be, of course, the order date. And the end date is going to be the shipping date. So we have it like this. And let's check the validation. The calculation is valid. Everything is fine. Let's go and hit OK. And since the output is going to be a number, Tableau did create it as continuous measure. So let's take it and put it on our view and check the results. So let's take, for example, this order. The customer did order in December the 7th. And after four days, the customer did receive the shipment. So with that, you can see the differences between those two days is four days. So everything looks good. Let's take another value, maybe some recent orders. So I'm going to sort it descending from the order date. And as you can see here, the customers did 
place an order at the last day of 2022 and after 24 days did the customer receive the shipments so we can see here the days to ship is 24 so this is how the day diff works now we're gonna go and create our visual so we want to show the average days to ship per category so now we want to get rid of all those details we don't need them and we just need our measure. So now we need the subcategory. Let's go to the product and get the subcategory over here. And then we're gonna take our measure and put it on the columns. But now we have it as a sum. We would like to have it as an average. So click on the measure, then go to the measure sum. And here we have the average. So let's switch it to that. And now we're gonna add some more information. So let's add a label and as well, let's change the colors. So let's bring the average days to ship control and then put it on the colors and since it's bad thing we're gonna switch the colors to red so let's go to the colors over here edit colors and now instead of automatic we're gonna switch it to red all right let's click okay and then we're gonna go and sort the list like this so now let's go and check the data as you can see the worst subcategory we have in our data is the copiers it takes longer time to be delivered to the customers compared to the other subcategories so now the question is we have five years of data inside our data source was it always like this that the copiers was the worst or something changed with the time so now in order to compare the years we're gonna add the years to the view in order to compare those informations so we have already the year prepared from the last time so we have the order date here let's just bring it to the view to the columns so now if you check the data it's very interesting if you focus on the copiers again you can see that in 2018-2019, the performance was really good. <laughs> Even it was one of the best performance in 2019. It gets this uh, light red. But something changed, yeah, in 2020. So from 2020 and forward, you can see it's always dark red. So there is like change in maybe the resources or in the inventory management. We can see it is one of the worst performance compared to the other subcategories. So with that, you can compare the years as well together to understand whether it was always like this or something changed. So as you can see, using the visualizations, the coloring, and as well those functions that we have in Tableau to manipulate the dates, we can uncover like those trends inside our data maybe it's really hard to find it from the raw data right but if you bring everything with colors and everything in the visualizations it's gonna be really easy to detect so this is exactly the power of visualizations and those functions all right everyone so with us we have learned how to add and subtract dates in tableau next we're gonna talk about two functions today and now and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye